So let's check out some of the latest benchmarks on the Transformer Pad Infinity. Let's start with the standard one, the Quadrant, that almost everybody knows about. And uh, let's run the full benchmark and let's see what's going to happen. We'll be back soon, I guess. So these are the last animations. We have this little DNA helix here. And then we should get a result. Well, keep in mind, you always should run it a couple of times to have a decent result. Let's say at least two or three times, but I think this should be already pretty accurate. It came out at 4,749, slightly faster than the HTC One X and about, I would say, almost 20% faster than the Transformer Prime. Let's say 15 percent faster, 4749. So the next one is going to be the Antutu benchmark. We're starting it here. Heading over to test, start test, and then let's see what's going to happen. Okay, here we are. It came in at 12,034. Let's see how this compares to... Okay. Let's go back here and let's see, oh sorry, I guess it's here, ranking, no, should be here. So there you go, 12,034 and I think that's a very, very decent score. So that was Antutu. Okay, here's the next one, it's going to be Nenomark 2. That's a quick one and that's why I think, you know, we should just run it all the way through. So this is somewhere above 30 frames. Now we're going up to 40, 50. Uh, I think we are ending up with 44, almost. 42 point, no, 40.2 frames per second. Okay, that was Nenemark. Our next benchmark is going to be Velamo, which is a benchmark from Qualcomm. It's always interesting to see um, SOCs that are not from Qualcomm running this benchmark. And let's start it. Once again, it will take a while and therefore, you know, we are just going to fast forward immediately to the final results. Woohoo, the Velamo score is in and it's low. It's pretty low. 1369. Um, well, not sure. I'm, but I'm sure, no, I am sure that we almost got the same result, if not better on a Snapdragon S4, right? That's how, the way how you're optimizing your benchmarks to your SOC.